So then we had the chance to, to use this, and this was actually just very briefly after we've done our first tests. Uh, another architect, uh, Andrea De Plazes, and uh, his office, is also a professor and colleague, uh, said, well, could we use this? And we said, yes, why not? And we, uh, we designed a, a facade. So here you see the production process. Robot grabs a brick from a slide. That's actually quite an interesting moment. Here it puts on glue. And now you imagine these bricks will be put on top of one another, each one individually rotated. Of course, all these gluing paths, which need to be on the overlap between the bricks, are also specifically put. And that's what would be a nightmare for a human, right? How to place it right, how to make sure that these gluing paths are at the right place so that you don't spill, spill over, etc. And then this is how the facade uh, gets mounted and yeah, we don't have a video of, of how this was designed, but in ah, oh, it's the next one. Okay, sorry. So this is a kind of a, a visual impression from the inside and one from the outside. What you start to sense is that there are these big abstracted spheres. I don't know if you can you see it from your perspective. Do you see a pattern here? So that's what you can see in the counter light and, and from outside you can see it very explicit. You sense these spheres. And that's actually a volumetric packing of spheres. So we, we filled this building with virtual spheres. Uh, I'm going to show you that in, in the video afterwards. And then looked into this basket of spheres from four sides. And it's again a bit of reference to the interference cube, creating something from something spatial, something coherent in two dimensions. Now, since we're a bit advanced in time, I speed up a bit. And here you see how we designed this. So this was a basically uh, a physics simulation at the time where we interpreted this building as a container, as a basket. We filled it because this is a winery building with abstracted grapes of the size of the largest one is three meters. So we kind of abstracted um, an ornamental topic because we wanted to prevent to become very literal in the sense that, for example, we had discussions with the clients if he could put his logo in the bricks. And of course, technically, it's possible. But for us, this would have been a very difficult first application of a technology. And you know technologies can always in be interpreted in many ways. So we then transported this volumetric um, field into slight rotations of the stones. Each stone is only rotated 17 degrees maximum to one or the other side. And that alone is sufficient to create the impression uh, of, of, of a facade from the outside, which is quite uh, strong. So from far away, you can well read the patterns, similar to here. If you go close, then this pattern dissolves and the brick gains, gains presence. So it's not like a, a real high-res image where you just go closer and you see more and more details. It actually dissolves, which we think is quite beautiful. <laughs> 